Hello and welcome to my channel Cat Drive. I am Sachin Pryavati. Today we are going to see how to remove relation in Sketch in NX. So first of all, uh, let's apply the relation between two entities. Uh, let's get started with coincident relation. So I want to make coincident this circle center point with uh, this point. So let's select this point this point click on ok now you can see nx has uh, defined a coincident relation between these two entities if i am trying to move this then both has been moving along but if uh, any circumstance uh, you want to remove the relation between these two entities so how to remove this uh, relation so let's see first click on the entities you want to remove a relation so i want to remove relation with circle select and here you can now you can see the there is a, it's showing me relation in this blue color and if you move the cursor toward that side then you can see the there is a coincident relation this is a horizontal relation this is a vertical relation so to remove the relation click on this coincident relation and you can see now this color is changed from blue to pink magenta and now click on circle and drag it you can see now the relation between uh, this point and this point has been uh, removed so that's uh, just a simple uh, method to remove the relation uh, we have to just uh, click on relation and try to be uh, turn to be it uh, pink magenta and just drag it the entities you want to remove relation so let's uh, see another example for a collinear so let's make uh, this line and this line collinear so this these two lines has been made collinear if I click on this, you can see now it's a pink color relation showing me it has a collinear relation. But I want to remove a collinear relation between this line and this line. So click on this line, click on the collinear relation, try to be in the convert in pink, and now let's just drag the line with the left mouse button click and you can see now the relation between these two entities has been removed now let's see same for a horizontal relation so i had make this horizontal line and you can uh, click on this line click on this point and now it's showing that it has a horizontal relation click on this make it pink magenta and drag this point and you can see now the horizontal relation has been removed if uh, if i make this horizontal relation and dragging it without uh, its relation and you can see now it won't be removing the relation but clicking in this for clicking its relation and dragging it will make will make this line to remove the horizontal relation let's see another example for a tangent so i am making this and this tangent relation in a time let's make a tangent relation between this this circle and this circle click ok and uh, uh, let's drag this circle and you can see now it has a tangent relation between these two entities uh, if i want to remove the tangent click on the circle and you can see now here is a tangent relation click on this turn it on in magenta color and just drag the circle and you can see now the tangent relation has been removed let's do another example for a parallel line so this line is horizontal and let's make them both parallel this and this this both line has been converted uh, has been parallel to each other if i drag it it's uh, 
try to be parallel because we have given a parallel relation between these two so let's remove the relation between these two first select a line select a point and now you can see it has showing me this is there uh, uh, there is a parallel relation between two has been found click on this and turning it into pink magenta and now just drag it and you can see now the parallel relation has been removed so let's uh, get another example for a symmetric so let's draw a sketch like this and you can see now let's define a real symmetric relation between these two i am going to select this as a motion curve this as a stationary curve and this will be my symmetric line and you can see now the symmetric relation has been applied if i drag it the line the both line will be in the same distance because i have given a symmetric relation now to remove the symmetric relation we have to click on this line and you can see now this triangle symbol relation showing me that uh, it has a symmetric relation between entities now click on this symmetric relation and turn it in pink magenta color and now just drag a line you want to remove relation and you can see now the the relation of uh, symmetric has been removed let's uh, make a final example for midpoint alignment so i am going to draw a line okay and i am going to select a midpoint relation so this will be my motion curve this will be my stationary curve and you can see now the midpoint relation has been aligned if i move this the whole line has been moving along with so that saying me the kinex has been defined a midpoint relation between these two entities now if i want to remove the midpoint uh, relation between these two I click on line and you can see now here there's a midpoint relation uh, click on this midpoint relation and just drag a line and you can see now the midpoint relation has been removed now let's see a final example for a circle which has been co-centric so let's make a co-centric relation between this circle and this circle making coincident and drag it and you can see now still i have a relation of co-centric so to relax or remove the relation of co-centric circle just click on circle and you can click on this point and you can see that there is a co-centric relation has been found and just try to drag it and you can see now i have removed the co-centric relation between these two circles so that's very simple you have to just click on the relation you in which you want to remove or relax and the move just move the entities uh, along uh, that that has been defined a relation and that's just simple how to remove a relation between these two entity click on the entities you want to remove relation click turn on into pink magenta just drag it that's how simple thank you for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe my channel and click the bell icon for more videos like this and tips like this